What's going on guys? It's damn before time. So, if you bought No Man's Sky, and you just really, really don't like it, you may be in luck. So it seems that Steam, Amazon, and even PSN have begun issuing refunds for players that bought No Man's Sky, and in some cases, even if those players are outside the normal terms and conditions for refunds. Now, if you're one of my subs, you know that I'm a fan of this game, and you know that I'm enjoying my time with it. That being said, I do respect other people's opinions, and people do have some very legitimate gripes with this game. And I do think it's important to cover things fairly and represent both sides. I believe this story was first reported on by Game Informer, so I'm going to go ahead and link that article in the description down below. But basically, users on Reddit and NeoGAF have been posting that they've been able to get refunds from all three of these services by reporting technical difficulties in the game. And in some instances, these are players with over 50 hours logged in playtime. Now Steam's refund policy is notoriously generous for digital games. They will give you your money back, no questions asked, as long as you have less than two hours logged in the game, or you've owned it less than two weeks. Now Amazon has a fairly good return policy on everything, not just video games, but physical games you can return if they're unopened, but their terms do state that they won't offer refunds on digital purchases. However, both of these retailers do state that if you ask, they can make decisions on returns on a case-by-case -case basis. Now PSN, on the other hand, is notoriously strict about their refund policy. They'll give you a refund if it's within 14 days of purchase, but only if you have not begun downloading the game to your system. Which disqualifies most people right away because most people do purchase and download directly from their PS4, and most of those downloads do start automatically. But as I said earlier, multiple Reddit and NeoGAF users have reported success with all three of these platforms, Sony probably being the hardest. And if you're going to try to get a refund directly from Sony, it's recommended that you use their live chat feature on PlayStation.com. I've used it before to return a PS3 and a PS4 and it was very easy. And apparently this support staff is much more inclined to help you if you feel like you've been wronged. So like almost everything about this game since its release, I'm sure this is going to cause controversy. And I'm sure the comment section is likely to be ripe with many passionate expressions from both sides of the issue. But it's my personal opinion that if you really don't like the game and you really do feel like you were misled, you should have options. So it's worth a shot. And many people have said that they didn't get their request processed right away and they had to keep trying, especially on PSN, so just keep that in mind if you're going to go through with it. And if you do like the game like me and you're enjoying it, you have nothing to worry about. So just keep on keeping on and let's continue to hold out hope for some form of communication from Hello Games. And to everybody on both sides of the No Man's Sky issue, i just like to remind you that games are supposed to be fun. And that's what we're here for, so just keep that in mind. Be good to each other. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, I've been Dan Before Time, you've been awesome, and until next time, enjoy your travels.